Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday and welcome to another week on FIFA 22. Another week closer to Team of the Season. That's what we're going to start talking about today at the beginning of today's video is, is it time to sell before Team of the Season? We talk about Team of the Season stuff, how it's going to affect the market last week on the channel, but I want to revisit that question today on a Monday because Mondays are usually days where cards are a little bit higher on the market after weekly rewards. So today might not be a bad day if you still have cards that you want to get out on to get out of some of those, take the coins, because I think that even today with the content we're going to be having, we could see the uh, the market drop a, a, off a bit and prices could go down because of the content that is coming back. Another prime icon player pick is coming back today and I think we're getting ever so close to leaks or official announcements about team of the season. I don't think we're far away. I think that could come later at the end of this week. I'll talk about that a little bit in this video as well. And again, speaking of today's content on Monday, the big piece of content I'm watching out for is this prime icon player pick being repeatable again. Of course, you see I have not done it, but 14 hours there from when I'm recording this video, which is 6 p.m. UK today on Monday, that means that people are going to be doing this again. It's going to take coins off the market. Fodder is going to go up and some of your meta cards are going to go down. So we'll talk about that in today's video and all of the showdown madness from yesterday on this game. Cards getting upgraded, cards not getting upgrades, fantasy foots and showdowns, right? Usman Dembele is getting a plus two upgrade. Already one of the most overpriced cards in this game. He's going to go to a 94 whenever these cards upgrade. We have all of our games locked in from the weekend. One more game today, uh, Crystal Palace and Arsenal. Of course, that's affecting uh, the Martinelli card. So I've got a couple of those still to sell, but I want to talk about all those upgrades and I'll officially post the link down below in the description if you want to see all of the upgrades that are going to happen. I forgot to do that yesterday in the video. My apologies, but I will do that today. And also, there's a lot of news around Mbappe right now because um, Mbappe had a two goal, three assist performance yesterday. And that, of course, is team of the week numbers. Neymar or Mbappe probably getting into team of the week this week. So that's got a lot of people thinking about a 96 upgraded headliner version of Mbappe getting seriously close to that team of the year version, which is kind of crazy. So we'll talk about that a little bit at the end of the video. And of course, everything market related around the game today. So if you're excited for a kind of a hype Monday on FIFA with the showdown Kent also being a part of the content we could see today, hit a thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. But again, let's talk about that question we posed at the start of this video. Is it time to sell before team of the season? I have kind of started to sell off a few of these things. As you can see, I'm starting to sell off my Martinelli's. I bought all these at 525,000 coins. I bought all these walkers at 400K and below, kind of selling these around the 470 range. I'm trading with a few icons at the moment, but a lot of stuff that I invested in last week on my transfer list, like these Tiagos are up like 70,000 coins. It's like five. 55, 60 he might be by now. You know, these walkers are up to like 480. This Lucas Hernandez I bought at like 550 on some snipes. This dude is almost 720,000 coins. He's actually nearing extinction. The Prevard SBC helped him out a little bit yesterday. But what I'm really looking to do in the coming days is get out a lot of these cards. Honestly, I'm going to be rolling pretty liquid in towards the later parts of this week because it's been a quiet week. And again, I think that team of the season is honestly, we might have team of the season information towards the middle or latter parts of this week, unless EA is actually going to run it a little bit later. It just seems like unless they're going to run a promo between now and team of the season, it seems like they're gearing up for like a pre team of the season promo. Since this promo ends on Thursday, April 7th, that's got my tinfoil hat theories kind of going on. If you got, if you guys don't know the reference for tinfoil hats, uh, that's a foot economist, the guy who now works at EA who used to do videos and stuff like this and then moved on to EA, he always would call things tinfoil hat theories, right? I've got my own tinfoil hat theories about why this promo is ending on a Thursday and how it actually could mean that voting for community team of the season might be Thursday or Friday. Since last year, it started on a Thursday. Now, I know it would be a bit early. So again, that's just tinfoil hat theory. Might not be what's happening. We'll get some more information on that pretty soon, I do believe. But that's why I'm taking a look at the market right now and seeing some cards that are down a little bit. I don't think you need to panic, but I think this is just another one of those opportunities to sell some cards um, and to get out of them, right? I know some of you guys have sold like a week ago, you know, when we first talked about this stuff, but today being a Monday on the market, it is just a, a good day. Most weeks, Mondays are 
cards are rising up a little bit after weekend league rewards as long as they haven't been sold off too much now of course you have had some of the market drop off a bit and i'm looking at a team of the year right now a lot of people that have team of the years are like nate should i be selling these before team of the season my advice to you is yes you should because team of the season cards are going to have similar stats and be a lot cheaper and some of these cards are going to get team of the season items as well um, but you know some of these cards are down just a little bit you take a look at this ruben diaz who we've kind of picked as our example right now he was 950k 960 earlier in the weekend he was like 950 again before the icon sbc dropped on saturday went down to 900 you know this sort of card i can honestly see this ruben diaz being down another 100,000 coins or more than that in the next two to three weeks before team of the season comes out or when team of the season is announced and we have the panic selling and more drops in price and stuff like that so i just think this is another opportunity today that if you have cards in your team you can start you can continue to get out of those now i know some cards again are already down a little bit from where they were but that's just a combination of factors right we had that prime icon player pick that was released that dropped prices fodder right now it's kind of going up in price so if anybody is doing the showdown sbcs that's draining coins off the market the market is slowly being devalued this week that's why i think today after rewards might put a little bit of an emphasis on buying a few players for some people um and and then i think you will see a couple rises on the market but just honestly another opportunity to get out because the longer you wait the more risk you kind of include in those cards of continuing to drop with team of the season on the horizon and with that official news being released that team of the season is going to come so that's kind of my thoughts right now again i'm not telling you to panic sell i'm going to get out of a lot of my stuff you know in the next day or two again like i mentioned the martinelli's that i have he plays today so for me this is 100 percent a card that i need to get out i'm up i'm basically making if i sell these at like 650 where i'm selling that uh, first Martinelli that I had there, you know, I'm literally getting almost a hundred thousand coins of profit per card, which is awesome. Literally awesome for a card that I bought on Thursday, selling it on Monday for almost a hundred K profit after tax. It's almost unbelievable. But, um, you know, I'm just kind of taking the money on some of this stuff. I want to have my coins ready and liquid because when there's a lot of panic selling, there's going to be a lot of opportunities to trade as well. And we'll talk about that as the prices continue to drop maybe the next week or two, we'll talk about how you can trade with some of those drops in price. So that's just kind of my, again, mindset right now. I know I've given you guys like multiple timeframes of, hey, if you sell, if you haven't sold, and just talking through some of the stuff like that. Um, now, speaking of, again, it is a Monday, and some of these icon moments, I got some crazy bids in this Rooney. He's a 1.3 million code card. Got him for 1.1 on an open bid. I got this Roberto Carlos at 1.4. He's usually selling in the 1.5s where he currently is. So some icon moments that I've noticed. I already have. I bought a couple Van Persie. This is another card, like, or another spot of the market where I've seen market drops. Van Persie was like 970, 950K, like, on the weekend. And now he's down under 900. I bought a couple in the low 800s trying to flip for hopefully a little above 900,000 coins. But that side of the market is also continuing to drop down a little bit. So again, that's just kind of my general warning that, hey, that sort of stuff, get it out soon-ish would be my recommendation for a lot of things related to the market. And especially what I'm looking to do for a lot of these cards today is maybe get them out before 6 p.m. UK today with that icon prime icon player pick being re-released again i think that's going to drop the market a little bit like you saw happen on saturday of this week uh this weekend you saw the market drop a decent amount wow 730 for this card that is actually crazy that's actually crazy but um i honestly think you're going to see some prices dropping off today because of that player pick being re-upped people are going to get some fodder they're going to get some coins from rewards people that don't go out and buy cards for their teams today are going to go out and buy some fodder to get this done today whether it's they're, they're getting it done for the first time or they're going to get it done for the second time so i think that's going to drain the market a little bit of coins today which is another reason why i'm trying to sell some stuff into the hype i think you'll see some drop-offs and again if there's a kent sbc which right now as it sits this is the only leaked showdown sbc that we have at the moment not saying that this is the content we will get today it would make sense if they release this today because this game is happening a little bit later on in the week but this kent card will be one that a lot of people would try to go after so if this is released as a part of the monday content today i would really watch out for your english links i would watch out for your english icons your tavernier um not the tavernier that we had yesterday you know maybe people would link uh this tavernier together but really what i'm talking about is the right back tavernier which i can't find him 
I'm just going to search him up because this card, if the Kent SBC is really good value, this is James Tavernier card. He's extinct 35,000 coins. Did EA lower his price range? Okay, no, they didn't. He was he was 40 and 35. But, you know, this card going up from 20K where he was, this is going to be the most popular way to link that Ryan Kent. And people are going to do this SBC um, because it's Ryan Kent. And he's a meta card and he's a FIFA rat. He's just a FIFA this is a FIFA card, right? So that's going to be a piece of hype content today. And with the prime icon player pick being repeatable, again, like we mentioned, it could be a pretty heavy day of coins being sucked off of the market, if you will, and drained off of the market because of that content with some pretty hype SBC. So that also has me thinking that SBC fodder hold on tight because it is only going one way and that way should be up because again really no supply weekend league rewards today is not going to supply fodder that much we're going to be talking about this all week unless ea do something crazy these cards are probably just going to slowly go up in value especially like the ramoses that i have yes he's thirty-seven thousand coins i know some of your other guys have like laporte right for an 86 rated card that was 13k most of the 86s are 16k but some of these cards with better links uh, since the icon player pick requires higher chemistry, those cards are even going higher. So continue to list for lazies. If you've invested in informs, list those for lazies. List your fodder up a couple thousand coins over what the actual selling price is. Um, maybe even 10K over because you will get some lazy sales like I talked about in yesterday's video. So that's one thing that I would watch uh, to see on the market today as well um on this game so it's going to be an interesting monday i don't know if they're going to drop you know upgrade packs or upgrade sbcs since we already have the 75 plus i would be surprised if they would do like an 80 plus player pick like there's really no reason for them to drop player picks right now there's no special cards in packs or anything like that it could happen but I, I wouldn't really expect it since we already have this one um but this is going to be the focus of people trying to craft player pick today or any of the showdown cards and speaking of these showdowns we had not one again but we had two showdown SBC sets released yesterday and EA went from like more expensive stuff on Saturday with Weghorst or Charleston, Braithwaite uh, and Suso. Not that they were that expensive, but the stuff that was released yesterday was all 100,000 coins and below. Benjamin Pavard, Serge Aurier, both with nice cards. I think EA gave Aurier a bigger boost because they don't expect him to get upgraded. Of course, Champions League matchup, definitely Bayern are favorites for this game. But I think they should have done a bigger boost to Pavard. Honestly, Pavard's item is going to look a lot like Aurier after he gets the boost. And I think that's where a lot of people are. You know, this is a good French right back. Um, if you like the low high work rates, a lot of people I think are going to end up using him as a center back in game. It's a really, really cheap card to do. Great links. I, I'm a fan of this SBC if you want to do it. It's a nice card to collect as well. Um, and potential plus two upgrade is what he needs to make this card good in the game. Um, and you know, but a hundred thousand coins is not bad at all. And then you look at the other one that they released with the Tavernier and the Carvalho. These are both like 20,000 coins to complete for cars that are 87 rated right now. They're the cheapest 87 rated on the market is uh 26 K. So it is a no brainer to get these done purely from an SBC fodder standpoint. Um, and you know, if one of them upgrades, great. If they both get plus ones, great. They become 88 rated cards. So whether you're a Middlesbrough fan, you know, this card is three stars, Gilmos, four star, weak foot, not the best, but the stats look pretty good. Carvalho is, I think also three star, four star. So if this matchup means something to you, then sweet, get the cards. But for most people in the game, I really feel like this is going to be just fodder collection with, you know, you do a couple 75 plus times five upgrade packs. You're going to have some 81s, 82s, 83s that you can get to craft into these. So that's a GG for me, EA Sports. Very, very cheap, very good quality um, SBCs for those yesterday. From a fodder perspective, and also, you know, Pavard's a nice French right back, not better than Kloss, but still um, a pretty decent item. Now, a lot of movements on the market yesterday because of the fantasy foot upgrades. And this is what I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about. I know some of you guys, it's confusing, right? It is very confusing as to which cards are going to get upgraded, which ones are not going to get upgraded. And some of these guys actually got, by, by the way that EA is doing this, these rules, they got kind of screwed over by EA Sports um, because their team either won um, or something and they're not going to get an upgrade because of it. I don't know where Kamavinga is on this graph, but Kamavinga from Real Madrid, of course, they won on the weekend. He's not getting upgraded because... Even though they won, he did not play. So all of these cards and all these upgrades are based around if you played. So 
I'm going to put this link in the description. Again, I'll actually put it there this time. I don't, I won't forget like I did yesterday, but this is the accurate depiction of how these cards are going to upgrade. Any card that gets an upgrade is going to have the new card design as well. And we have three big ones to talk about, um, especially from yesterday. Two pretty big ones. Lucas Mora, Tottenham Hotspur beat, of course, they had a five to one victory, big up the lads, five one victory over Newcastle. Sorry if there's any Newcastle fans watching, but this Lucas Mora is going to go to a 92 because they won, he played, and he got an assist. So that plus two upgrade is going to be right away happening to Lucas Mora at, at some point this week, whenever it is. I think it's going to be Wednesday. We will see. But the biggest upgrade from yesterday is the mad lad, Usman Dembele, with an assist and a one nil win. He is going to get a plus two and go to a 94 rated item. He's probably going to have 99 pace. They might, if just might, boost him up into that 90 passing category, which would make this card look un freaking believable and his price of course represents that upgrade he's 5.3 million coins at the moment so Ericsson, lucas mora and usman dembele are our only plus twos from the weekend but like that graphic showed a lot of plus ones and this doesn't even talk about the showdown cards right um a couple of showdowns that got upgraded from yesterday of course i have the bronze squad active right now for the pack luck but I do have one of the showdowns that's getting upgraded. Mr. Braithwaite, he's going to a 90 rated card. He's getting that cheeky plus two. No upgrade for the boy McKenney, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, Juve just, they did not clutch up and they were, they were terrible, honestly. That's, there's no other way to put it. But Brozovic is going to get a plus two upgrade for the other side of that showdown SBC from yesterday. So those are our first two showdowns that have had their games actually played from the weekend. Braithwaite getting a plus two, Brozovic getting a plus two um, from the showdown cards that we have had released already on the game. So that was kind of, you know, big market movements. Now, again, speaking of market movements, which cards have moved the most? Usman has gone up. Lucas Mora, as we mentioned, I should have mentioned this when, his, um, when we looked at his card. This card was a million coins yesterday. Uh, he went up to about 1.19 after he assisted and Spurs won the game. Now he's back down into the lower 1.1 million coin range. Uh, other cards that had a lot of big price movements yesterday. Let me take a look at the market a little bit just to remind myself of which ones moved. Some cards went down. Uh, Anthony Martial, of course, with Sevilla losing and he was in the game. So it counted for his, you know, appearing in however many matches, three matches that you need to appear in. But he's down a little bit, right? Six. Uh, he's in the 600s now after dropping down about 50,000 coins. You know, Alexandro dropped off a little bit. Some of these cards, actually Nani is one that has dropped off a lot. Now, I know from the weekend, you're like, Nate, a lot of these cards have dropped off. Nani's 480,000 coins at the moment. That's like the lowest that he has been, even lower than what he was when he was in packs. Um, and that's just because people are starting to bail on a few of these cards that don't look like they're going to get the upgrades. And that's why we were really, really serious about selling these before the games and selling into the hype, because then you take all the guesswork out, the guesswork out of it, right? Um, as I'm trying to search up Mr. Martinelli right now, which I can't spell. Um, that's why I'm trying to sell Martinelli in the hype again today, because I'm going to take my 100,000 coin profit. Oh, it's I. What am I doing, man? Martinelli, not Martinelli. I can't spell. Anyways, Arsenal. Yep, mm -hmm. that's that's enough said there. Um, I'm taking the cash on my on my Arsenal card. It pains me a little bit to make a, this many coins off of an Arsenal item, but uh, I'm taking the money. I'm taking the safe route, and I think that's just a safe thing to do. If you have any of those cards still and they're up in price a lot, you know, big money moves. If you guys invested in any of these last week, it's just incredible some of the profits that we are getting so that's kind of that's honestly one of my biggest focuses today is taking the money on a few of these cards um you know i'm gonna list these at maybe like 670 maybe we get a couple lazies or something like that not in a big hurry to sell these because i'm gonna try to get them out after rewards again like i mentioned i bought a comma venga yesterday at 540 because i thought it was really really cheap um, even though he's not getting an upgrade, he's a super rare card and he dropped off a lot. So this Depay as well, I'm probably going to try to cash out on today. Wow. He's 1.09. What the heck is that, man? Anyways, I'm going to try to get that out for like 1.19 if I can. But then the rest of this stuff, I have done a, a couple of my informs I've held on to, you know, but I'm going to, I'm going to take the cash on a lot of those bigger investments, uh, that we saw, you know, rise up from the, um, fantasy foot cards and some of the out of packs road to the final items as well. So also I want to take a look at really quick is the Mbappe situation that's going on in this game because 
Mbappe, his headliner card is up because people are expecting after a two goal and three assist performance on the weekend, people are looking at this card and hoping for an upgrade. Um, of course, yesterday Mbappe's price went from 3.1 mil. He rose all the way up to around 3.5 where he is now. You know, Mbappe just had the player of the month, which if you're looking at this card, you're like, man, I just did the player of the month. You know, if there's another inform that comes out for Mbappe, it's going to be 94 rated. And it's probably going to be somewhere around like the 2 million coin range. But this headliner Mbappe, I mean, if you have the 94 player of the month, the stat upgrade to the headliner is yes, there's going to be a little bit more, a little bit more passing, a little bit more shooting, a little bit more dribbling. But for a card that a lot of you guys crafted for way cheaper than what the SBC price is, I don't know a lot of people that actually went out and spent 2.4 million coins to do this Mbappe. A lot of people crafted this card for like a million or 500k or like 300,000 coins when it was all said and done from crafting and doing upgrade packs and SBCs and all the stuff that we've had since this SBC has been released. You know, a lot of people did this at such a great price that it still is an insane deal, even though there might be another version of Mbappe that comes out. You know, that's that's just kind of what's going on with this card at the moment. The headliner is up, and I believe his other informs are down a little bit because people are already starting to plan out, oh my goodness, Mbappe is getting another inform. So this card's gone from 1.6 mil. He was down all the way at 144, I believe. And it looks like he's bouncing back up. Can we potentially get on the end of this? Because this Mbappe... Is looking really, really rare at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to be too late on this Mbappe card. The 93, yeah, 1.48. All right, I'm going to add this to my watch list because it says on Footbin that there's a 1475, a 148, and then he's like almost back to 1.6. So that's what happens with these really rare cards when they get panic sold. If I see one in the low 1.4s, I'm probably going to try to pick that up. There's there's the 154 right there. So you know, trading right now in the market is is, is good. E even though there, we're in this worrisome stage right before team of the season, like again, I showed you with these with these icons, it, trading on the market is really good because you can get a lot of deals. Bids are OP. If you put in the work, you can get a lot of insane profits. So I'm going to go try out this Rooney, see how good he is. I haven't tried him yet this year and I got the moments version. So I'm going to go give him a try out on my last couple games of the weekend league but it's going to be a good day of monday content i think there's going to be a lot of movements to play around with the market i'm going to take a lot of the coins on my investments and it may seem like a slow week this week to a lot of you guys if we're just having spc content but again everything is going to start to start clicking and everybody's going to start getting that panic mode again once they officially hear the leaks or the words from ea sports about team of the season that's kind of the waiting game right now that we are in but while we're waiting we do have some nice content so ggs again ea sports for the content that's happening in the game right now let me know down below in the comments what you guys are thinking about these showdowns i like them i think they're w's cards that won't usually get specials getting upgrades with these showdowns and they're live a lot of games this week too with champions league so that's going to be stuff to talk about during this week of content as well so if you enjoyed the video today smash a thumbs up on it again comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it has been nate the foot account and i will catch you guys later peace